Matthew Kachuk of the Florida Panthers receives a tremendous body check from Keegan Colasar of the Vegas Golden Knights in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Welcome, I am Dr. Stephen Wilson, and if you enjoy learning about the mechanism of injuries in sports and the relevant anatomy, then please like and subscribe to my page to receive notification of future videos. In Game 3 of the Stanley Cup playoffs, Keegan Colasar lays out Matthew Kachuk of the Florida Panthers. On the replay, we can see Colasar leading with his left shoulder and making contact with Kachuk's left shoulder. At the time, Kachuk appears to be relatively unprepared for the impending body check, and as a result, he is not braced well and falls to the ice quite forcefully. When Kachuk falls on his right side, his torso and his right elbow all make contact with the ice. When Kachuk gets back up, he is seen favoring his left side. Kachuk did miss a portion of Game 3 following the hit as he was removed from the ice by the league-mandated concussion spotter. It is assumed that he passed the initial concussion protocol as he then resumed playing later in the game, but in obvious discomfort. Kachuk did play in Game 4, but his playing time was limited and you could visually identify him being in pain as his, as his movements were awkward and limited. At times, he also avoided using his left arm. While on the bench, he could be seen uh, being evaluated by the team athletic trainer. Kachuk did not dress for Game 5 as his injury was significant enough to keep him out of the lineup. Following the end of Game 5, it was announced that Kachuk had suffered a fractured sternum as a result of the body check from Kolasar. The normal anatomy of your sternum consists of three sections of flat bones on the front of your chest. These three bones together make the front part of the protective structure that houses organs such as, of course, your heart and your lungs. These three bones are called your manubrium, your sternal body, and your xiphoid process. These three bones also serve as attachment points for your ribs and the rib cartilage as well as many muscles in that area. So what we saw on Thursday night was Matthew Kachuk sustaining a fracture to his sternum from a clean body check. It actually requires a lot of force to cause a fracture to your sternum. The majority of sternum fractures actually occur in car accidents when a person's chest hits the steering wheel or sometimes the shoulder harness remaining stationary as a person's chest presses into it or from chest compressions from receiving CPR. In Kachuk's case, it was Kolasar driving him to the ice with a body check. A sternal fracture can involve one or more sections of the bone or even the surrounding joint structures with the ribs. The stern, uh, any sternal fractures that I have seen and palpated typically have what is described as a stair-step effect where part of the sternum is indented or pushed up against either the manubrium or the xiphoid process. Matthew Kachuk will be physically uncomfortable for some time as he heals from his injury. Thanks for watching.